Hello lovely ha families, I hope that everybody is well and you are all back in to the swing of the school routine and it's not too crazy in the house in the morning. We have had an absolutely amazing first week back. The boys and girls are, oh, they just, they just bring so much joy to our lives. The school's really energetic and the children have just thrown themselves right back into school life. So we have not had a chaotic time. It's amazing for us. We are loving it. I just want to flag a couple of things for you. What we're going to try and do is we're going to try and give you a talk of news um, every Friday because families have fed back to say this is a really good way to get information timely. So myself, um, Caroline Linscale, our debut, and anyone else I can talk in to doing this uh, just to get information out to you. Earlier this week, Kate McLean in the office emailed out instructions on how to log on to the parent portal. Some families have done that. It's a really good source of information because once you're logged into that, you can order school lunches in there, or you can sorry, you can see the menus in there. Um, you can update if you change your telephone number, if you change your address, you can see attendance and various things. So Every year at this time of year, we do an annual update of information of the children and just to double check with emergency contact numbers, um, any health considerations. And we before we've done that on paper, but you are able to do that online if you register with Parent Portal. So I just wanted to do a wee shout out to that. Kate McLean is a boffin with these things. So if you've got time over the weekend and you haven't already done that, can you can you have a wee go at it? And if you've got any problems at all with registering, please phone the school on Monday and we'll talk you through it. Now, if for whatever reason you don't have access to technology or that's not going to work for you, we absolutely can continue with paper copies of things. That's no problem at all. But what we want to do is we want to see if we can kind of make this work digitally for us uh, moving forward. But if there are families who haven't managed to register by Monday, we will get paper copies of the annual update out to you so that you can turn them around and we can make sure that the information that we hold on the school system is accurate and up to date especially emergency contact numbers. That's probably the most important piece of information. So have a wee look at that. And as I say, give us a call on Monday if you're struggling. And if we've not seen you registered, then what we'll do is we'll get the annual update paper copy out to you on Monday so that we can update our records. Now, just talking... Oh, Kate McLean, I'm looking at my notes. Kate had said um, that in terms of password, when you go into Parent Portal, it's really case sensitive. So even if you put like a wee space or whatever in and you hadn't done that when you registered your password, it's it's very, it's very sensitive. The other thing she'd said was when you're asked to put your child's name in, don't put a middle name in, just first name and surname. They were the two things. You can tell that I have not been on Parent Portal, even though I am a parent of a child in school. Um, so case sensitive, just be aware of that. So if that's causing you teeth and troubles, give us a phone and we will help you out with that. Other sources of information, if you're not already following us on Twitter, then have a wee look. Follow us on Twitter. We're going to try and get that um, updated weekly, uh, having classes, tweeting, different bits and pieces. But it's also a really good source of information for anything universal the EDC are offering. So, for example, um, there's a dance club being offered after school. There's various things going out on out of school. I know the football's been running in the High Park for a few months now, and it's been really, really well attended. But we kind of tweet information on that. So keep an eye on our Twitter. Over the past couple of years, um, we do have a Facebook page. We probably populated that less last year than we did the year before. Um, it was just capacity last year, actually. It just was just didn't have enough people in the right places at the right time. So we're going to go back to pretty much replicating what we tweet on our Facebook page. So if you're more Facebook than Twitter, then we're going to start putting information on that as well. And if there's things you think would be useful for us to kind of put out universally, then we'll pop those out. Another source of information is our school website. So we'll get back into the swing of making sure that's as up to date as possible. And then just generally, you've we'll got group call where we'll kind of put little text messages out to you. We'll get newsletters out to you. And as I said in my talking news earlier this week, um, Caroline Linscale and I are back out manning our posts in the playground before school, first thing in the morning and at the end of the day. So you can catch us in 
passing. Just in terms of a couple of things I, we'd, we'd like some feedback on, um, we, we're going to put a questionnaire out. We're really, I said in my talking news the other day, they are, this is the first time really we can really start to think about recovering. It's been a very, very difficult two and a half years. Um, yeah, really hard. People have experienced real hardship, um, loss. We've always been really passionate in our school about mental health and well-being and health and well-being in general. But as, as a school team, we are really acutely aware and tuned into the fact that the, the story of the impact of COVID is, is yet to be told. And we want to be really clear on what we're doing to support our children and families um, moving forward in terms of, you know, positive mental health, positive physical health, um, resilience. It, it's still a difficult time because we're recovering from COVID, but we are we're kind of in a cost of living crisis, and it's something we're also aware of as a, a, a school community that we really we need to think about that. We need to think about how that is impacting on all of you and implications for learning in school. And yeah, we just we we want to kind of gather your views on what you feel we need to prioritize and. We always welcome any general feedback on things you feel we could be improving on. So if you think, actually, that was rubbish and um, I'm a bit dissatisfied, please, please tell us and give us the opportunity to resolve that for you. So a questionnaire will be coming out. In terms of life as we knew it, as I talk about that in my last talking news, we will get the parental engagement calendar out to you. Um, we've, all, we've had plan B for the last two and a half years, but we are planning this year families back in the school, back in for assemblies, back in for focus weeks, um, whole school walks. All of that is on the plan. So we just need to finalise some dates with the teaching team. We're going to meet on Tuesday after school to do that. And we will get the family engagement calendar out to you at the end of next week. And everybody will get a colour copy and it'll have as much as humanly possible that we can plan ahead for. And you can stick it to your fridge or stick it inside a cupboard, but you've got it there. So we're working on that just now. And Caroline, Linscale and I have already been populating bits and pieces and it's looking nice and busy and there's lots of opportunities for you to kind of get in and involved in school life again which we're, we're really excited about actually it's been really lovely for me personally to see so many um, parents and grandparents and fa family members back in the playground and be able to speak to people in real time so we hope that you've you've found the last few days as positive as we've found them if there's anything else just now that you're kind of thinking, oh gosh, I'm wondering about that and I've not covered, please do lift the phone and we will get back to you. The other thing that will be coming up is if you have any immediate concerns about your child in terms of their health and well-being or any wee learning concerns or any, if your child's got a more kind of complex health profile, then we will be touching base with you next week to do a wee settling check, to do a wee catch-up. But if we don't come to you, please come to us and you can get in and meet with myself or Caroline and we can we can just make sure that we've got all the information as accurate and timely as possible um, so that everybody knows what they need to know about the children so that we can we can do a great job for you. So I want to wish you all a lovely weekend back um, back in the school routine. And as I say, if there's anything I've missed just now, then give us a phone, but we're hoping to do this weekly for you and just keep you up to speed with everything that's going on.